Today I'm building a custom Linux gaming computer and these are the parts, kind of the raw shell behind me. So we have a 34 inch widescreen Alienware monitor. This is going to operate at 4K as the resolution. We have an Alienware keyboard. Uh, we're using these uh, Mika uh, speakers. So these are great just desktop speakers. Uh, then I also we have this uh, amplifier here from uh, Oregon. I'll include the links to all these parts here. And this is just the empty case right here. So this opens up and we'll be putting everything in here. It's just completely empty now. And I also have this set of Audio-Technica uh, headphones. Here's the components for this build. So the motherboard is this uh, Z370A. So it has the 1151 socket. So it's gonna be an Intel processor. So we're using this 9th gen i5. It's actually an i5-9400F. We're gonna be putting two of these graphics cards we had left over from a mining rig. These are uh, 1080 Ti's, Zotac. Uh, we're gonna have a, what, a 750 gig hard drive. We also have a 250 Samsung Evo solid state we'll be putting in. Uh, we have the six terabyte external drive so we can have uh, lots of expansion storage. For our CPU cooler, we're doing the H60 by Corsair. It's a uh, liquid cooling system. Uh, also have a 128 gig SSD that's just going to mount directly to the board, so it's an M.2 hard drive. Uh, 16 gig, we're going to add another 16 to make it 32, but we're just using, uh, this is DDR4, uh, 2666 megahertz. And then we'll use, we have the Alienware keyboard we'll probably use, but I have this Corsair uh, matching, or kind of a pair that I picked out of keyboard and mouse. I like this Corsair mat. For the power supply, we have a 1000 watt EVGA power supply, also used from a mining rig that we're going to be repurposing in this build. Well, those are the components we're going to be putting in here. We've got a joystick here we had laying around. I just kind of, like I said, this whole build is just kind of pieced together of a lot of surplus parts we had to make kind of a cool Linux gaming build. Well, since I'm not doing a complete uh, build guide, I just want to do a quick walkthrough and show some of these parts, um, just in case some of you aren't, aren't that familiar with uh, computer components. So what we have here, this is the CPU, this is the processor. So this is what does all the processing. It gets very, very hot. And so it's not gonna be like this. It actually has a fan that usually goes on top of it. And we're actually gonna put on this uh, liquid cooling system. So it has a fan and then it has a little radiator that this goes over top of the processor and then it circulates a coolant and it blows it through that radiator. So that's gonna keep it cool. It's a little bit quieter and it does a better job of cooling. Uh, this is a hard drive that we put in. So this is a 128 gig uh, M.2 hard drive. It's solid state. Uh, and so this is just sort of like a more advanced thing. A lot of computers don't have these. Sometimes laptops use them. These slots here are where the graphics card will go in. These smaller ones, uh, you can put in like a sound card or a network card or even hard drives. Uh, so different kind of peripheral cards will go in there. Over here, this is like for our audio. It's already plugged in, so we have like headphones or microphone inputs on the front of the case, like these connections right here. This just connects them into the motherboard. In fact, a lot of these cables here connect the different peripherals on the front of the case, like the USB ports, the power button, the indicators for hard drive activity and things like that. So that's kind of what all these different ports are over here. These things right here are where our hard drive communicates. They're called SATA ports. And so we have like, what do we have, six, six right here. I think we have some more somewhere else too, but so we can have six different hard drives plugged in here. And the hard drives are actually mounted on the other side of the case, uh, in this particular case. Um, this is our memory. So we have one stick of RAM right now. This is a 16 gigabyte single stick and we have four bays. So if we were to put 16 in each one, we'd have four times 16, which is 64 gigabytes of RAM. For now, I'm just gonna keep this one, but when you have two, it actually operates faster, so I'm gonna add a second one in there. This is the connector to our power supply. So our power supply is actually underneath this case right here, and uh, we see it's plugged into the wall. So this is the power supply. It's a 1,000 watt power supply, and this provides the, ma the main power to the motherboard. There's also secondary power coming in right here. This is for just the CPU. So this power is mainly to power this area of the board and it's kind of a secondary power. And then also off of this power supply are different cords that we can use, like we're gonna power up the graphics cards when they're in, 
and also to power up hard drives. And then this white kind of shield here, these are just things to make it look kind of pretty. But this uh, white kind of shield here, it just kind of shows what's on the other side. We have all of our audio ports, we have an optical audio port, we have different uh, HDMI and DisplayPort and DVI for video. And then we have some USB ports we can plug like external hard drives into or scanners or printers or keyboard and mouse. And then a network uh, card for plugging in to our network for internet. And then this case has lots of fans. These are, these are kind of pretty fancy fans that are going to light up like different colors. So we have three fans here in the front. We're going to be mounting our radiator fan here in the back to cool our processor. Uh, that fans in the top as well. There's a spot you can mount a radiator or mount fans in the top too. So that's the inside of our build. I'm installing Linux Mint right now. This build came together really, really well. So I really like these RGB fans. Also the motherboard, I forgot before, but it has these LEDs right here you can see. So those LEDs are actually coming from the motherboard, these RGB LEDs. Um, I should probably get an RGB fan for the back and kind of complete this. And of course the graphics card has a little bit of lighting up to it as well. So I have Linux Mint, uh, I just had it available on this uh, jump drive here. So that's what I've chosen to install for the time being just to get it tested. Looks like it's complete. So I'm going to go ahead and click the restart button here and uh, give it a test. But basically, I think I'm going to do, a, I'll do another video doing some benchmarks, but I just had to kind of get these parts put in here because I'm kind of in a rush to get out of the building, so. I will do a benchmark video uh, in the future, but for now, that's basically the build and how it came together.